Now, I'm going to grow a gherkin. In fact, I hope I have lots and lots of gherkins, but I only need one plant. Gherkins are essentially a small cucumber. They've got warty skins, and of course, they pickle really well, and I love pickled gherkins. I've mixed up a fairly rich potting mix of peat-free compost with some sieved garden compost and a bit of grit in it to add drainage. But I'm going to make it even richer. I'm going to grow them in a pot. I've had this for about 20 years, and I've been reusing it and reusing it all the time, and I think it's good for another 20 years. And as I've said countless times now, the best way to cut down on your plastic use is to use your plastic. It's got drainage holes that I've drilled into the bottom uh, and also drainage holes in the side. But I'm not going to put the compost straight in because I'm going to put a layer of neat garden compost at the bottom. And that will have two functions. Obviously, it will enrich the roots when they reach it, but also, more pertinently for the gherkins, it will act as a sponge. It'll hold moisture because gherkins, like cucumbers, like lots and lots of water. And then fill up with this, and I won't try and mix it in. You can grow gherkins outside. I've grown cucumbers outside and they fared perfectly well. But they do love heat. And if you've got a greenhouse, then it's a good way of using it. Now, a big pot like this will take one plant. This is a variety called Partner. And you can see that there's a little flower with a small gherkin already forming. But the plant is looking a little bit anemic because it's run out of goodness from this small pot. High time that it was planted up. Simply push that in there like that. But this will grow six foot tall or even more. These are vigorous plants. So I will support it. But if you put in canes like that, of this sort of dimension, tie them at the top, train the gherkin up, and it'll have tendrils that will attach to it with these little fruits hanging down. Pick them regularly. I'm going to put this pot into the greenhouse. And don't forget to keep them well watered. The more water, the better, really. And I expect to be harvesting the first of the little fruits in about two to three weeks' time.